Okay, so the next ones we're gonna find are some of the bony structures in that distal forearm and um, wrist, and then we'll move on to some of the carpal bones. We'll revisit the carpal bones again next time we meet because they're small and they can get kind of confusing. But the first one we're gonna look for um, is, or the first ones are the radial styloid process and the ulnar styloid process. So these are both at the distal ends of your radius and ulna. So to find the radial styloid process, you're just gonna palpate down to the end of the radius until you find that radial carpal joint. And just on that most radial side, there should be an extra little pointy bony prominence. That would be your radial styloid process. Easy. Um, can I have you sit up so I can turn your hand just a little? Good. So then on the ulnar side, can you guys see that in the camera? Coming down to the distal end of the ulna, uh, also on that ulnar side, this um, might actually be a little more dorsal, but it should be primarily on the ulnar side, is gonna be that ulnar styloid process. And again, it'll be kind of a more finer point, rounded pointy bone. So radial and ulnar styloid process. Also on the dorsum of the hand, back on the radial side, you'll find Lister's tubercle. I think some texts also refer to it as the dorsal tubercle. So just be aware that um, they're referring to, referring to the same bony prominence, but it's just on that dorsal aspect of the radius at that distal end. And yours isn't too, too pointy, but it's just, again, kind of a razor-like ridge on that dorsal aspect of the distal radius. Lister's tubercle, dorsal tubercle, um, same name for, or excuse me, different name for the same structure. Good. And then, not YouTube, but <laughs> what, what muscle tendon uses this as a pulley? Oh, abductor pullis Do we agree with abductor? Uh, no, Stenzer. 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 Stenz